In this nine minutes and 29 seconds, you will see that as Mr. Floyd is handcuffed there on the ground, he is verbalizing 27 times, you will hear. In the four minutes and 45 seconds, I can't breathe. Please, I can't breathe. You will see that Mr. Chauvin is kneeling on Mr. Floyd's neck and back. He has one knee on his neck, and the knee on his back is intermittently off and on on his back, as you will be able to see for yourself in the, the video footage. You will hear Mr. Floyd as he's cried out. You hear him at some point cry out for his mother when he's being squeezed there. He's very close to his mother, you will learn. You will hear him say, tell my kids I love them. Uh, you will hear him say about his fear of dying. He says, I'll probably die this way. I'm through. I'm through. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me, man. You will hear him crying out, and you will hear him cry out in pain. My stomach hurts. My neck hurts. Everything hurts. Uh, you'll hear that for yourself. Please, I can't breathe. Please your knee on my neck. Uh, you will hear it, and you'll see at the same time while he's crying out, Mr. Chauvin never moves. The knee remains on his neck, sunglasses remain undisturbed on his head, and it just goes on. Uh, you will hear his final words when he says, I can't breathe. Before that time, you'll hear his voice get heavier. You will hear his words further apart. You will see that his respiration gets shallower and shallower and finally stops when he speaks his last words. I can't breathe. And once we have his final words, you'll see that for roughly 53 seconds, he is completely silent and virtually motionless with just sporadic movements. You're going to learn those sporadic movements matter greatly in this case because what they reflect. Uh, Mr. Floyd was no longer breathing when he's making these uh, movements. You will learn about something in this case called an anoxic seizure. It is the body's automatic reflex when breathing has stopped due to oxygen deprivation. We'll be able to point out to you when you'll see the involuntary movements from Mr. Floyd that are part of an anoxic seizure. Not only that, uh, you're going to learn about something that's called agonal breathing. When the heart has stopped, when blood is no longer coursing through the veins, you will hear the body gasp as an involuntary reflex. We'll point out to you uh, when Mr. Floyd is having the agonal breathing, again, as a reflex, involuntary reflex to the oxygen uh, deprivation. So we learn here that Mr. Floyd at some point is completely passed out. Uh, Mr. Chauvin continues on as he had, knee on the neck, knee on the back. You'll see he does not let up and he does not get up uh, for the remaining, uh, as you can see, three minutes and 51 seconds. During this period of time, you will learn that Mr. Chauvin is told that they can't even find the pulse of Mr. Floyd. You will learn he's told that twice. They can't even find the pulse. You will be able to see for yourself what he does in response. You will see that he does not let up, and that he does not get up. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.